hello everyone welcome back again to my channel if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and share my videos and this my channel is all about beginner sewing and in this channel i'm going to be showing you on today's lecture on how to sew a lace bubble gown this is for a beginners and this are the measure i'm going to use which is showing on my paper so let's get started so i'm going to be making this captain dress which you saw here so let's get started so now i'm going to show you how i was able to get this front panel so i'm going to get out the other fabric then i'll show you how to fold it to achieve this this is the fabric which i bought from the fabric shop and this is how it looks like see this how it looks like is by the length is by 45 so if you want to know how to fold a fabric for that style which I'm going to show you now you know normally on the other kafta you have to fold it like this but the length is not long enough so I'm going to fold it this way you see like this so I'm just going to arrange it So I'm going to arrange it like this. You see how I, put, I arrange it like this. So when I finish arranging it, then I'll come back and show you the next step. So that I've arranged the, the back panel of my kaftan. So now I'm going to put my front panel on top of the back panel. Then I will cut it out. So what you simply do is to take your front panel. Take your front panel, hold it like this. Make sure the edges are all equal and make sure it's all equal. Then you place it on top of this to cut it out. Or you take your tape measure to measure the length that you want on your back panel. But it has to be exactly the same length with the front panel. And you smooth it out with your hands. Then you take your scissors. See the hair is from there is equal, and the tip, the end of it is equal. Then you take your scissors and cut off from here to this way. Now you can see. Now I have cut out the front panel and the back panel. They are all equal now. The next step for me to do is to start working on my back panel. On my back panel. I'm going to take out two inches from this side. I'm going to measure out two inches. Then I'll measure it two inches from here, from here two inches. Then then I'll just mark it down to the end. After doing that, I'll come back and show you the next step. On my back panel, I'm going to take out two inches. From this side I'm going to measure out two inches then I'll measure it two inches from here from here two inches then I'll just mark it down to the end after doing that I'll come back and show you the next step now that I've marked out my two inches at the beginning so I'm going to cut it from here straight down this way like so put it down straight so which means i will divide it into two portions see i've already pinned it up here you can see the pin i've marked out my two inches no so now i'm going to take this to my sewing machine i take this to my sewing machine then i'm going to stitch from the top here, to here straight down to this place so my friends, I've already stitched the back panel. So this now is the front panel. I'm going to work out working on the front panel. So on this front panel, I'm going to measure out also two inches from this side. Measure out two inches. I'll measure out two inches straight down to that place. 
then I'm going to cut it at the middle also just the same way I did my front my sorry the same way I did my back panel I also did the same way with the front panel so my friends I've already laid my front panel and my back panel together you can see it's all together now so I don't want to move the legs about because I took my time to arrange it so what I did there was this this is my back panel and this is my front panel and I now lay both sides together after stitching at my two inches like so equal so the next step for me to do now is to cut out my neck depth and my neck weight so now I'll go to this place here I'm going to take one inch here I'm going to measure up one inch from here one inch straight down so my friends so you see because this is a lace my shock is not my shock here i don't know sorry my shock here is not showing properly on the on the lace fabric so i decided to use my pin to measure out my one inch so you can see my pins are there that is where my one inch stop so from that place where my pin is i'm going to start bringing out my neck width and my neck depth measurements so basically i'll be using pin to bring out my marking on this blouse because of the lace and my shock is not holding properly on the lace so now i'm going to bring out my neck weight and my neck dead for both front and back panel from my fabric right now so i'm going to be needing my, my pins so remember i left one inch which is my marginal line that's where i'm going to start my drafting from so from here from this place here I measure out my neck width my neck width from here for the front panel is 2.5 so this is my pen let's see 2.5 here yeah. Then my back, my my neck width is also going to be in two point five as well. Yeah. So let me use my shock to. So, Bring at the neck. <laughs> so, after doing that, my neck width for my back front is two point. I mean two point six. Then for my the depth is two point five. So right now, for my back panel, my neck width is going to be. 2.6 as well but the neck that we're gonna be 2.5 so go ahead like this no sorry 1.5 sorry 1.5 so I just cover it out so now I'll go to the next step which is my ham hole So now we'll go to the next step. The next step is to put in my shoulder to shoulder. So my shoulder to shoulder is 17 inches. Divide by 2, what I have is 8.5. So 8.5 inches. So I'll go to the front here like this. I'll bring in, bring that 8.5 from here. 8.5 inches. Then, for that 8.5 inches, 
I'll go to the end of this there, that's the end of my sleeve. I'll come down by one inch. Like so that's my one inch. So after doing that, what I'll just do here is to simply connect my shoulder to shoulder from there straight down to the one inch that's the end of my sleeve remember here i came down by one inch so that will now be my end of my sleeve and also my shoulder stop in this place so now i'm going to take my scissors and cut it out So friends, before you think of start cutting at your shoulder slope and your neck weight on your kaftan, always remember you're going to add the back panel and the back front panel together. So, on top of that shoulder slope, which which I covered here, from my neck weight to my um, length of my armhole, sorry, length of the sleeve, I brought out one inch on top of it, one inch. To top of my neck with there that one inch is what you're going to use to add your back panel and your front panel together so you can get your measurement right so now I'm going to cut it out so my friends I finished cutting the neck that and the neck weight for the back and the front panel the next step for me to do is to start working on the front panel so yeah I've, op I've spread out the front panel which you can see here so what i'm going to do here first is to tidy up the the ending end of the captain so i'm going to take at one and a half inch from the bottom here i'm going to tidy it up so i'll do the same thing on my back panel i also tidy up the end of it as well then i'll come back for the next step